right, everybody. I'm John Miller, and with me is Steve Jinks. We're here, fans down south, and uh, this is this is the first week of football season. Are you excited, Steve? Let's get it on. Yeah, man, I'm ready, man. <laughs> it's, it's a big week for football, and uh, it's it's what I've been waiting for for I don't know seven months, seven and a half months, ever since the last college football game, and and really pro game, I guess. I I, I tolerate the pros during the college football yeah. season after it's over, just to get another <laughs> few games in. But yeah, man, we're excited. A bunch of key games coming up this weekend and uh, a lot of stuff to talk about yeah there really is and you know on the one hand it's good because you know football is starting and it's time to stop talking Mm -hmm. but on the other end this is the last week that you get to really talk up your program (laughs) and uh (laughs) until the truth comes out (laughs) right right exactly Mm -hmm. so uh this is your last chance to uh to say you know your team vanderbilt or kentucky is going to go all the way Appalachian State, keep talking smack <laughs> till Thursday night. That's right. That's right. It is, man. Well, uh, I tell you what, before we um, before we get going on Auburn and Alabama, we'll take a look at this. Uh, this is the SEC schedule. Let's see. Well, the first one that catches my eye, John, is going to be that Appalachian State-Tennessee <laughs> game just because it's the first SEC game that we're going to see, not because I think it's going to be much of a contest. I really – no offense – Appalachian State could prove me wrong, but um, and they did pr- prove Michigan wrong a few years ago. But I think that's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how Tennessee comes out at the start. Tennessee is a team expected to, uh, you know, do well this year. So we'll see how that starts out for them. Well, here we go. Uh, you know, right off the bat, you know, the first game on Saturday is uh, in the SEC: Mississippi State against South Alabama. So the Jags yes, traveling to uh, Starkville there. The old Jags heading up the highway, just up that lonely stretch of Mississippi Road. and <laughs> uh, It'll probably be a long way back more than likely. But I, I'm looking for the Jags to hang tight with them at least through the first half. <laughs> And uh, who knows? Yeah, you know, you Strange never know when you never know when one of these games are going to go your way and uh, really change your program uh, for the better. You yeah, know? If Mississippi State can hang tight, I mean, excuse me, if, if the Jags can hang tight with mm-hmm. Mississippi State, uh, through three and a half quarters or something like that, they got a chance. And, and the thing is, like you say, this is Israel, here's what I said earlier: Mississippi State, John, is uh, had, hasn't even looked at this game hardly until like mm-hmm. maybe maybe this week. I guarantee you, South Alabama's had that game circled because it's a map maker or at least a, a game maker for them. I don't know what that means. No <laughs> sense. It'll put them on the It'll, map. Yeah, so there you go. Say, it's a you. map maker. A map it maker is. of a game. The map maker game of the week. <laughs> That's what I meant. Here we go. <laughs> so uh, there you go. Uh, let's see. We got uh, LSU Wisconsin. That's that's a game that not a lot of people are talking about, but uh, should be an interesting game. And it could be a firestorm up there as LSU travels up to mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. Uh, Green Bay Packers State Lambeau Field. Yeah. Uh, Texas A&M, UCLA, that'll be a, that'll be a good game. That is. Uh, Georgia, North Carolina, uh, that stands to be an exciting game. That's, that's probably going to be one of the best games on Saturday. And then, uh, this one is getting a lot of play, uh, but, but, uh, people here maybe not talking about it as much. Ole Miss and Florida State. You know what that is, John? That's your, man, it's Monday and we got a whole day off. There ain't no football. Oh yeah, there is. (laughs) There is. It's this game. Yeah, yeah. So that's coming up on Monday night. That's right. It's going to be a good game, I think. So lots of exciting games over the weekend and a great way to start your college football season. That's right, man. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about this. Uh, this is sort of <laughs> – this is one of those things that's making the rounds. Oh, yeah. I don't, have you heard about this? I, I have, actually, yeah. <laughs> okay. So there's a, there's a little bit of a controversy here <laughs> over <laughs> – I think it started with <laughs> – a uh, a t shirt that us some USC students made or, or yeah, just to USC kind of draw the fans story made. Up. USC came out with this roll tears roll roll store. tears roll yeah we got that here a real original by the way well yeah I've seen that before didn't I see Auburn didn't Auburn do that a few years ago oh, or it was another team I don't remember what's the significance of that but anyway yeah I, you know, well what do you think it is <laughs> tears roll roll tears roll tears we'll let you think about it over All right. All right. <laughs> But anyway, so I guess in in uh, in in trying to uh, get back at, at them for that T-shirt, uh, some fans on their own made this uh, T-shirt here, and uh, ended up getting pulled. Actually, you gotta love the uh, you gotta <laughs> but, love the creativity there. Our OJ only killed Clemson. <laughs> That's now, wild. now I gotta say, like, okay, <laughs> this is a. This is casting a wide net here. We, we're, not only are we pulling in another team altogether, yeah. <laughs> we're also pulling in. 
<laughs> We're also pulling in a player from 50 years ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is OJ is OJ something not relevant right now? Well, I mean, his, his, his show this maybe past he's year was always, the show on Maybe TV. he's always relevant. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, know what you mean. Though. Here's my question to you. Uh, I'm sitting here defending the shirt. <laughs> Wait a minute, John. What do you mean? Is OJ not relevant? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty a, bad shirt. Is this a shirt that you would wear, Steve? <laughs> it's not, John. But I would say. It took some a little bit of creativity to come up with it. <laughs> it's kind of like a shirt I saw about some trees a while back that, that I right. want to bring up. Right. But, but it's right. still, I would never wear it in public. <laughs> right. But just the thought of it, like, they really made a shirt like that? I would. I would <laughs> my brother has that shirt, by the way. Not that one. But it's, I guess anything to sell. Well, and here's, here's the interesting part about this shirt. Uh, so I was reading this story, uh -huh. and... Uh, it got pulled from the website that it was on oh, imagine that. for, uh, you know, collegiate, I don't know, some kind of copyright infringement. Licensing, yeah. Licensing, yeah. You know what it was pulled for? The state? Guess what it was pulled for. I don't know. Because they mentioned Clemson. <laughs> <laughs> Out of all things on that shirt. Out of all that, yeah. Well, there you go. Clemson it got pulled because Clemson them. was on there. I understand that. So was, you can make any, I guess, reference you want. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a stretch to make a funny T-shirt, but I like it. I like, yeah. it. I like the creativity. The fans will go to all sorts of lengths. Oh, they will. To, uh, to talk smack, makers. won't they? That's right. Okay. All right. Well, uh, rolling right along, I've got an uh, interview I want to pass along here. This is, right. uh, this is one that I shot this past week with uh, a good friend of mine, uh, my pastor, mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Rob Couch right. at uh, Christ United Methodist Church. He is from Auburn, Alabama. All right. And uh, anyway, he uh, grew up an Auburn fan, a big-time Auburn fan, and mm -hmm. uh, he's got some insight he wants to share with us about people on Sunday. You know, he gets to see people on Sundays yeah. before people even go back to work after these games. That's right. And so there's a lot of insight that he can share with us about... Uh, want to compare notes. <laughs> about fans. So uh, anyway, check it out. Everybody, fans down south, we're here with Pastor Rob Couch from Christ United Methodist Church. You know, being a pastor on Sunday mornings, I, I would think you get to see people the next day after a big game. Yes. Can yeah. you tell, is the mood palatable after a big win or a big loss? Uh, I tell you what, I've always had this theory, or I've wanted to study whether giving goes up or down based on a, a good Auburn and Alabama uh, win or, you know, whatever team that is at a church or whatever um, and so yeah you can tell that when things went well on a Saturday folks in church there's a little more a uh, little singing a little bit louder a little more excitement there people are usually in good in a good mood and then the opposite is also true well now you're uh, you're actually you're from the Auburn area yes and yeah. so uh, you were telling me that you um, even though you're from the area and you have been an Auburn fan all these years you had a you had a born again Auburn experience. <laughs> Tell us about that. Yeah, some people are familiar with the uh, passage in John chapter three about Nicodemus being born again, and <laughs> Nicodemus grew up being uh, you know Jewish, and uh, of course became a leader and uh, well respected. And then Jesus tells him that he needs to be born again to kind of fully live into this faith. And so I kind of, I've likened that before to when I you know I grew up an Auburn fan. I was born in the Auburn area. Raised in Auburn, I mean, I started going. I learned the fight song at a young age. Had orange and blue shakers, you know. I had everything. Um, could sing War Eagle, all those kind of things. But um, but it wasn't, I think, until 1984 uh, when my dad took me uh, to the 23-22 uh, Iron Bowl. If you may, many Auburn fans will remember that's the bow over the top uh, game. And in that game, um, I was born again as an Auburn fan. Because uh, I'd have been an Auburn fan all my life, but on that day, I became an Auburn fan on my own. It wasn't just because my parents had raised me that way, because I, I believe that. I still remember going back uh, to Auburn after that game, driving back from Birmingham, and we went into Tumors Corner to see what it was like, and the party was still going on. They were still rolling Tumors Corner, and my dad woke me up in the back seat of the car so that I could see all that was going on. I think somebody poured beer or champagne or something on our car uh, after that and it was really amazing and from that point on I mean I was an Auburn fan for life. <laughs> Do you find yourself uh, at times using football as illustrations or examples in your in your sermons? Yeah I do. Um, I, that's something that everybody in Alabama is interested in and so all the time. Uh, in fact one time uh, I was doing a sermon on being all things to all people which is something that 
that Paul tells us to be. And, uh, and I had a Alabama Crimson Tide hat, like a trucker hat. This was, I mean, you know, this is as Alabama Crimson Tide hat as it could possibly be. And it was sitting up front the whole time during the service. And everybody was kind of wondering what that was. And, and I just went on and on through the, throughout the whole sermon that we need to be all things to all people. And then at the end of the sermon, I said, you know, no self-respecting Auburn fan would ever, ever put on an Alabama hat. Um, and then about that moment, I went over <laughs> and I put it on. And uh, I may or may not have said Roll Tide. I'm not sure. Um, I, if I do, I'm, I'm sorry, Auburn fans, if I did that. Um, but I said, but my point was, you got to be willing to be all things to all people. I think it's the only time that I've ever had a standing ovation at a sermon because <laughs> our church at that time was filled with Alabama fans, and they loved the fact that I put on an Alabama hat. So, yeah, it's great. <laughs> One last question. Um, you know, we got to talking about this last week with uh, our good friend Uncle Henry, and the question came up about weddings in the fall. And being a minister, that's got to be a tough situation that you're put in. How do you handle uh, weddings in the fall? Yeah. Yeah, I remember doing a wedding on an Iron Bowl evening. It was out in Wilmer, Alabama, Iron Bowl evening. And um, I remember the wedding was to start just right after the the game was on. And I think the entire, all the guests and all were out in the parking lot listening to the game on the radio. And then inside, in the pastor's office, there was a little tiny television with rabbit ears. And me and all of the groomsmen were all huddled over the television watching the end of the Iron Bowl. And um, and I think that that couple still has a picture of me and all the groomsmen huddled around the TV <laughs> watching uh, watching the game. And I um, thankfully, they are still married, and they're a wonderful couple and have done very well. But I still cannot believe that they got married on an Iron Bowl Saturday. That just this doesn't make sense in this state. And that people showed up. I know it's amazing. <laughs> they you, they they, ha- they have to know that they are really loved because people actually <laughs> came to their wedding. All right. Anything else you want to say before we gotta go? Hey, man, I'm really excited about fans down south. I hope everybody's tuning in. All right, we're back, and yeah. you, you look like you're ready for ready, game man. day. Uh, listen, I'm sure they are a wonderful <laughs> couple, but uh, how dare them? And they probably don't have any friends left, after, let's be honest. I went to an Iron Bowl uh, wedding one time, too, and, and it was a mm-hmm. beautiful wedding, good good friends, great friends, or I wouldn't have been there. I was in the wedding, so I really didn't have a choice. I had right. to be there. It wasn't like, hey, I got sick. I had to be there. And uh, the reception afterwards, John... <laughs> was unreal <laughs> what was the what was so i was told i have no idea oh, okay I, I didn't catch a single bit of it I, you didn't catch any of it normally i'm there for the meatballs right. and the sausage yeah. and a little yeah. piece of cake yeah oh, not so gone. much nah. not even during a commercial break no sir I, I, did, I did not see that reception good friends but it, some not that good right that's right some things are more important well uh you know i gotta say that uh even though it's not quite the iron bowl i mm-hmm. actually have a wedding to go to this week really yeah saturday I'm going to be videoing a wedding. Wow, so, that's different. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that I'll get back uh, at least in time to catch most of the Auburn game. Since Man. they're playing late. What time is the wedding? Uh, the wedding is in the afternoon. I think it's like 4 o'clock. Oh, you'll be fine, man. Auburn yeah. played till like 8, I think. So. <laughs> I think so. So, I'm, right. I'm, yeah. I'll, I'll at least get to catch most of it. Yeah. But uh, but anyway, you know what's funny? I'm, I'm watching my... Uh, my, my family go past me right here, but uh, this past week, we did the baby draft. Yeah. You ever heard of the baby draft? Do you know what the baby draft is? I've heard of the baby draft, but I don't, you need to fill me <laughs> in on what that is exactly. Okay, so uh, what was it? Yesterday, mm-hmm. me and my wife, we laid out the schedule, the Auburn and Alabama schedules, yeah. and we picked which Saturdays we wanted to dress the children. Are you serious? And, and it can get very contentious, Steve. That's a thing? Yeah. So you have to, you know, you have to, you have to select very carefully. You know, there's That's some a, there's some weeks that are easier than others because you know you have these non-conference games and stuff. But uh, John, there ain't a day that goes by in my life that I don't hear <laughs> jinx. When are you gonna have a baby? I hear that all the time. And you know what? I don't know when that's gonna be. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's up to God. But but here's the deal with that. I never thought. That the baby draft would be something I'd have to think about. <laughs> you got to so think. Tell me certain these days. are things that you have to think about. Now explain this. Now, well, you know, you live in a house divided, and yeah. you just, you know, you have to you fight. Pick certain days that you can yeah. dress them in. You pick certain days. You know, this, well, now, you know hold I'll hold take on. this you Saturday. You take now. This. You can just dress yeah. one and I'm one and all. Well, we talked about that, but what we decided to do instead was we're going to dress both of them 
together. Mm-hmm. So there'll be certain days that are, you know, situated as Auburn days, certain days that are Alabama days. What's your pastor's name again? <laughs> Rob Couch. Y'all need to pray about it. We might again. need some counseling. I over. think you might have. Yeah. <laughs> Never in my life. You know, since we're talking about Saturday and yeah. uh, and then the different games that are coming up, we... we we are seeing more and more of these neutral site games. Yeah, you are. Um, what do you Especially think about this? You know, because Alabama they have to they have to travel to Dallas to play USC, mm-hmm. and so you've got two fan bases, two teams that are traveling yeah. halfway across the country. You do. USC and Alabama, no, and, and neither one, one of them are really getting a home advantage here. So what? No. What do you think about this? It seems like a lot to ask of the fans, is it not? Well, you know what? I, Jerry's World, from what I understand, never been there. is a, is a terrific place to play and, and a, to enjoy a game. I think the hot dogs are like 28 bucks a piece or something like that. It's, it's expensive, but it's a cool place to go from what I understand. There's two sides of the argument. One of them is, hey, it's way too expensive for the fans. And the other side of the argument is, any fan that goes to an average Alabama game, for the most part, has saved their money for games anyway because I'm telling you, just even the cheap tickets went on sale this past week. They were supposed to be 35 bucks. Got online, they were like 50. They probably had them on for a few for 35. Mm-hmm. But even the games that are not exactly your SEC games were like 50 bucks. Your Middle yeah. Tennessee States. Yeah. I can't even hardly afford that. I mean, I could afford yeah. one of them, but I have to take my wife. And so you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So if you start going to the whole season where <laughs> the average Joe Citizen fan is watching it on TV for the most part. Right. So I guess if you want to make plans to go to a game this year, you pick that one game in Dallas if you want to do that. Yeah. Do that. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It makes for exciting football. You yeah. know, you think about they're playing in a place that they don't normally play in. It's almost sort of a bowl atmosphere to start the season. Yeah. But it does. At some point, it just seems like a lot to ask of your fans it is. to, uh, you know, to go to these games. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think it's a lot of money, no doubt about that. <laughs> well, I uh, this past week I got a chance to sit down with my brother-in-law mm-hmm. and pick his brain about football. Yeah. And one thing you need to know about my brother-in-law, he's from Scotland. Scotland, Alabama. No, <laughs> the country, the real Scotland. Okay, yeah, the real right. Scotland. When were they playing so the you know, when off. you talk about football with him, you have to first explain that you're talking about quote unquote American football. Oh, gotcha. so, so I'm man. trying to, you know, I'm trying to figure out where he stands with this and what he knows about football. Mm-hmm. And so this is what I found out. Check it out, everybody. Uh, I'm here with. Uh, this is not necessarily a fan, but it's somebody I'm trying to convert into a fan. We're fans down south with John Millington. This is my brother-in-law. He's from Scotland. Hello. Hello. And uh, he just got here last year. And uh, so we're trying to bring him along and teach him about football. What do you know about football so far? You pick it up and throw it. <laughs> and somebody gets to the other end and it gets a touchdown. And you stop a lot. That's, okay. that's it. I'm getting there, and the, the rules are seem a lot more complicated than, than what I'm used to, you know what I mean? So, than soccer. Yeah, soccer, soccer. I didn't like calling it that, but for years <laughs> I'll call it soccer. Uh, and you actually went to your yeah, first ever college football game? I went to two games last year. Okay. Uh, can't remember the team, the first team they played, <laughs> but it got beat. Auburn got beat. Okay. What was your impression of the college football atmosphere? What did you think of it? I tell you what, it took my breath away, to be honest. I thought it was brilliant. I think you do it right. When, like, going there, it's like a feeling of a festival or something like that. It's like you've got 12 games, and they, they all feel really important. And, and it was brilliant to see. Like It was just like a, almost like a big party. Everybody's tailgating, and we don't do that. It's yeah, we don't do that back home. There's none of that. <laughs> People just parking everywhere and yeah. just enjoying it, enjoying the day. And it, I thought it was, a, it was really impressive, and just inside as well, the ex like firing t-shirts into the crowd, and there's yeah. loads of shows as well, like big bands and stuff like that. So. For a day out, it's brilliant. I, I, I thought it was amazing. I really enjoyed it. I'd love to go back as well. And so I think he's got that part 100% right. It's okay. A, such a good atmosphere. I really enjoyed it. So do you feel like you have a good handle on the game? Do you? Sometimes I watch it and uh, I think, what is, I, what is going on? I know what the quarterback does and the running back. Like okay. One throws the ball, no one catches the ball. <laughs> Right? Well, the quarterback throws the yeah, ball, and the I'm, wide receiver usually yeah. is the one that catches the yeah. ball. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this: So, do people ever ask you, like, when they see you out? I mean, 
And they say, well, are you an Auburn or Alabama fan? I mean, do um, they even ask you that? No, they, 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 they never waste their time asking me that <laughs> question. Don't. They're just like, ah, oh, he's into European football. He's a foreigner. He's yeah, a foreigner. <laughs> he doesn't even know what football is. He so, thinks football is soccer! But I, I have seen the rivalry you know, between mm-hmm. Auburn yeah. and Alabama, and it's just, that's, that's, that's a that's a thing. I'm looking forward to this season, to learn a wee bit more, yeah. to watch a wee bit more. Okay. Well, we should give you homework. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll give you your pick. You right. watch either game you want to watch. I'll watch Auburn. Go on, okay. I'll watch Auburn. Alright, right. you watch Auburn, yeah. and we want to get your impression okay. next week. Right. Get Perfect. your takeaway. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. It'll be, it'll be college football through the eyes of a foreign. <laughs> yeah. And we'll get, we'll get your. And your then I come back next week and tell you what yes. I thought. It. Right. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, John. No problem. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. No problem. All right. Cheers. All right. So we were just, uh, I was just talking with my brother-in-law. Yeah. You think that's a good idea for him to watch Auburn? You want to watch a good game? That's, <laughs> no, that's, that's actually an awesome game to it, watch. I think you know what I. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but, you know, you think about it. The first part of the season, mm-hmm. that could be really a good game, and, and uh, you never know. Auburn could it, pull it off with it's, it being right there in their home stadium. Not just because it's Auburn. It's going to be one of my favorite yeah. games to watch this weekend, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, so so we got him to uh, – we're going to wa- have him watch a football game. We're going to get his take on it. We'll see what, you know, maybe what his impressions were, see what – Maybe his questions were. I think that's one of the greatest ideas you've ever had. As long as, as long as we don't have to watch a European football game, because if that happens, yeah. that would be a now sleeper. that would be a problem. Can't take that it. would be a problem. Can't do it. Well, uh, we have heard from a few people on Facebook Live here. Right, uh, yeah. We got one guy, Brian. He's saying roll tide. <laughs> All right, roll tide, bro. <laughs> and then we got uh, Julia. She's checking in, just saying hey and greetings from Southern California. So I don't. Right. Maybe she's pulling for USC on Saturday. I'm not sure. That's pretty cool, man. What, Steve, Steve, do you have any? Do you have anything you want to add about this week's uh, schedule of games? Killer weekend this weekend, John. Mm-hmm, As a matter mm-hmm. of fact, it's going to be some big games on Saturday and Monday, and uh, all through. It starts on Thursday night, John. I really seriously think that that Auburn Clemson game mm-hmm. is going to be closer than what some people think. I think Auburn's going to give Clemson a run. I think mm-hmm. Clemson's going to be coming in fired up, ready because they lost the national championship. They got something to prove. But I think yeah. Auburn does too. Auburn's got a chip on their shoulder this year. Yeah, maybe. you know the thing is, it's almost like. Uh, you know, they heard so much about last year, mm-hmm. and I think Clemson is maybe, uh, you know, there's a chance Clemson might really kind of overlook them a little bit. I don't know. No? I think Dabo will have them ready. Yeah, but, And yeah. I think the other thing that's probably not good news for, for Auburn is mm-hmm. that I think Clemson probably has the best quarterback in the nation, oh, yeah. obviously, this there's year. There's no doubt about he that. He was the he's best a, quarterback in the nation last year. Well, I you think, think uh, he's probably early on, you know, one of the Heisman Gotta be. candidates. But uh, but anyway, it'll be interesting to see. I, I'm looking forward to next week's show where we get to actually talk about what's happening in some of these games. Oh, yeah, and, I'm, uh, looking, forward to, over I'm the looking forward to going out to Dallas mm-hmm. in my TV and watching the <laughs> Alabama and yeah. USC game. That's going to be a big game for me, obviously, to kick off the season. I'm just, I'm just ready for football, man. I don't mm-hmm. care who's playing, mm-hmm. honestly. Mm-hmm. I'll be watching it Thursday night just trying to get ready. Sure. Well, we do, uh, we do want to take a chance to uh, invite people one more time. Call us, 251-281-8844. doesn't matter if, uh, if you're listening to this later or if you're, if you're listening to this after the games. You can, you can check in and just let us know your impressions. And also, you know, we, I don't think about things a whole lot, but if you're listening on Friday night mm-hmm. before the ball games in Jackson and that area mm-hmm. on Bama 106 or Dixie 94.5, it said Thursday a lot. Um, so, right. you know, I forget about that sometimes because the show is recorded right, before that. Right. But on, on Thursday, we appreciate everybody tuning in. If you have any suggestions or email, or, where, where can people email? Us yeah. John, or give us. I mean, obviously, you can call the number and give us whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Be kind, please. Yep. But, but yep. <laughs> you know, we got an email too. That's right. You could also email us fans down south at gmail.com. Uh, we also have a Facebook account and Twitter account, mm-hmm. and uh, we're starting to get going with our YouTube account. So, there's any number of ways that you could reach out to us. And uh, anyway, we hope. I hope that you will, and uh, hope to get some of you guys' reaction over some of the games happening this weekend. Hey, and use your video cameras too, and and send us a message through you know some of those some of those different ways. You can send them on the web and, and just video yourself. We'd love to hear that. Cool, cool, cool. Well, anyway, we appreciate y'all joining us, and uh, we will see you again next time right here, our fans down south. Oh